do you do, man? When who you want has all the features you need in a guy. But the guy is not who you need. And the one you need doesn't have all the features you need in a guy. What do you do? Who do you go for? Because I don't know. You think we don't know what you do? You know, this, these are Facebook days where we marry for Facebook. I'm sure you know these are the days we marry for social media. Uh, we marry for the day of the wedding. We marry to show people to show them how our own wedding was the best how that we will pepper them the guy will carry me and the guy will spin me like basketball you know so so it's all those those fancy stuff is it tall isn't that what you like so guy that guy is handsome chocolate ha! then the guy just raised his shirt Oh my God, oh my God. I will break it here. The saddest part, shamefully, even among church women now, we have gone beyond just six packs now. What we are looking for now, can I break the table small? I'm not sure you are ready to hear me. What else are you looking for? Huh? Say it. Big dick. Isn't that what you're looking for? You want to be a porn star instead of a housewife who says you shouldn't enjoy your marriage. So here you are, you have gotten big, big, but you don't have a big guy. When it comes to be responsible, because he has invested all of his life into his penis, nothing in the head, nothing. I'm not talking to somebody in the house of God, no brain, nothing, no leadership, madam. You don't marry now. She be you don't marry with you defy. Don't you have big dick? Oh, yeah, move forward. Papa. It's not providing house money. Which money? Did he tell you? Is it that is that what you married him for? You married him for dick. Oh yeah. Dick. Children, I go to school. We need money. Dick will provide it. Stupidity. Absolute stupidity. And unfortunately, because it's been glamorized, it has become, we see it all the time. We see it as a thing they've glamorized. The next thing you find that it has affected our sense of judgment too. So you see a man who has vision. You see a man who can secure your future. You see a man who is clear. He has invested his life developing his sense of vision. Developing his ability to be a husband, to take care of children. All the things you need as a wife. He has invested life into that. Now lie, now did you define. So here you are now. You've gotten what you want only to find that it's not what you need. My does. This is the Transforming Church International. One church making global impact.